I'm at the Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge and um, a friend of mine uh, about six months ago discovered a sable lisa on the uh, property so I'm documenting that. Uh, this is one of two that are here um, and we would probably agree they're not anthropogenic. Yeah, they can't be. Yeah, there's no way these could have been planted here. Uh, so this this is occurring naturally and uh, or on its own. And I'll go ahead and get a clip of the other one too. Again, this is in an Indian River County, uh, probably about 150 yards from A1A, and about three miles south of the county line from Bavard County. This is the second sable lisa in Indian River County uh, that was again discovered by a friend of mine. And uh, one other thing that we'll point out that uh, should rule out the fact that maybe somebody had brought this in uh, is these palms are a lot older and a lot more mature than the first generation of the Immokalee uh, lisa that sort of was the progenitor of most of South Florida's lisa population. Um, so we're just pretty confident that this is its own population of uh, Lisa here. So again, this is number two.